He, as in Dow. Coming to you live from a bathroom in Denver, it's the Dow Eternal. What up, homies? Ooh, it's been a minute. It's been a couple of days. Your boy just got married, which is incredible. I'm happy. It's awesome. Also, my uh, gaming creds definitely slacked over the last couple of days. Haven't really been climbing too much. Got kicked out of my cool club. But that's fine. We just go and rank and get back in it. In the meantime, videos, videos, videos. Don't look at that. All right, what we got? Nope, 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 nope. <gasps> oh, I was in shuffles. One day. I'll be back. In the meantime. Alright, bam, baby. We got Constantine. We got... Dior. Dior. We shall call them Dior. Or Dior? Die. So Constantine's got the bros as a leader. Um, I don't... I think we've covered this one just yet. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't think it's elite, like top tier, top two or three leaders, but it takes people by surprise. When they have the leader ability, you activate it and they get a temporary invulnerability, just like a soul binder. Uh, but it's really sneaky because it's easy to forget that they're using bros as a leader. And if you drop it on the bad guys and they forget about that, your bros are going to eat up whatever they drop on them while they're invulnerable. Uh, Enchantress is a really good counter to this. Um, you know, hammer. Duh. But yeah, it's a cool ability. Skulls. You get more skulls. I don't understand why you have it as a leader ability. But hey, maybe they know something we don't. Let's see what they got. All right, we get the siphon. Ooh, that's fun siphon placement. That's what I'm talking about. We got a cutter up top. He's slicing, he's dicing, skullies take him out. And notice, that's how you play skulls on a stone cutter. I think most of you know this by now, but that stone cutter is gonna burrow out of the ground and do damage when it comes up. So you drop your skulls after it does its damage. If you drop it anticipating it coming out of the ground, it's going to come up and kill all your skulls before they kill it. Minor note, but it's important to do. All right, bros on the bottom. They get bombied. Doing some damage, but not too much. Ooh, throwing a little frost on top of the villagers so the skulls do some damage. And these guys are cool. When, when skulls actually get to a tower, they can do some decent damage. It's just usually don't get there. All right, Siphon in the back, Wolfie up top, Siphon bottom left, everyone's just procking some mana, Bros in the bottom. Ooh, okay, got a little gremlin action, Bombi doesn't really do much, but your boy the Vamp will. Skulls come out and take out the Wolf up top, Vampy's like, hell, I need some blood. All right, Cutter, Cutter Brigade happening, Bombi on the left, we got Villagers on the right, and that tower, hmm, it's down. Um, uh, got your girl with the bow up top. She does some damage, but nothing too crazy. Solo villager running around with some bros. Gremlin's gonna mop that up, but, uh, could have had better gremlin placement. Wolf on the bottom, he dashes in. And Skull's gonna mop that up real quick. Alright, your vamp's coming in, he's got a little skull brigade, but does take aggro. A little unfortunate on the timing there. So there it is, that's the invulnerability on the bros. Gave them a little head start to start taking everybody out. I uh, got a cutter on the bottom, he's definitely going to do some damage. Freezes everything around, he's definitely going to take that tower. It's a great little combo to play that. Cutter with frost orb, or cutter with stone form, really get some extra damage out. Cut her up top, but he gets taken out real quick. Got a minute left on the clock. Constantine looking in good shape. Drops a well. And a sneaky well. Look, you can't even see it, really. Cut her on the bottom. Wolfie's still up top. There's some skulls. Vamp comes out. Ooh. 
I still don't have that card. I gotta get that card. Soon. Bro's up top. There's a well. Bamps just taking a stroll on the bottom. It's a nice night. Ooh, Bombi coming out. Doing a little bit of damage, but... Really? Not enough. And that's it. Bros takes it out. Boom. It's rocking that tower. Constantine. Showing you how it's done. Yeah, bros are amazing. I, um... I struggle to not have them in my deck. Um... And, you know, they're really relatively unique. They're just this awesome kind of middle stat bruiser. And there's these guys that do lots of damage with lots of health, but they cost so much. The guys that do only a little damage with health. They're, they're this nice medium where you can really enjoy playing them in a lot of different kinds of decks. Um... Oh yeah, we can definitely do this. All right, we got Vask. And we got Kos. Oh my former shuffles, bros. Bros, I'll be back. I failed you. We had a great thing going for like 3 days. I'll be back. So, Vask, he's using stone form leader which i experimented with it for a while i think it's really cool um particularly uh if you play it correctly it you can just do insane pushes with it so stone form normally gives temporary invulnerability for a few seconds when you have stone form leader it casts three procs of it east to west so you basically can have a whole push that's under a line of a stone form for a few seconds if you have your units in the right place at the right time and drop this against your enemy's push or in a defense, you can wipe out all their guys and not really lose any health at all. Uh, it takes some practice with how to place it, but it's deadly. And Klaus has bros. No wells. Everyone's just waiting. Epic stare down. Got the gremlin on the bottom. Sniper up top. Bam! Throws the hammer down. Gets the tower as well. That's how you do it. Alright. We got your vamp. Oh! We got the stone form on everything. Vamp's like, I'll take that. Dashing in. He's doing tower damage. Zealot's gonna try and clean up a little bit, but that's half the tower's health. And look, look how quickly that leader ability has come back. He, he can stone form again. Boom. Bro's on the bottom. There's that invulnerability. Bombie's going to jump on him. Doesn't really do anything. Stone form happens. Maybe a little early. Um, Zealots clean up the rest. And we got a well. Villagers are kind of flanking that zealot. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you can do that. It did get a little bit of extra damage. But I'm trying to see it on a big push. Let's get this, Vask. Alright, we got your vamp on the bottom. He's going to take that out. Oh, and the cutter up top. Little misdirection. Just doing damages everywhere. Bombi cleans up skulls. Zealots take a walk. What do we do when zealots take a walk on their own? Nothing. That's what we do. Nothing. Bam, see? Towers do it all. It's great. Marksman on the bottom, we got a cutter around him, we got some villagers, they're invulnerable for a sec. Uh-oh, Gremlin gets slowed down by the Frost Orb, and that bottom tower goes, he's gonna get that well for his trouble as well. Got a cutter up top, bros are on him, uh, they can invulnerable when they want, get bombied instead. Some little skulls around him, alright, a little bit strange with the leader play there, but we'll take it, whatever. Um... Decent push up top. Hammer shuts that down. 53 seconds left. Probably going to see some wells. Everyone's just kind of waiting for their opponent to make the first move. They're like, arr, arr, arr. Who's going to do it? There it is. Vamp up top. Trying to just sneak that in, but the marksman's like, wait a minute. Oh, but you dropped that stone form on top, and he's doing damages. Ah, oh, it's such a good card. 
It's incredible. Stonecutter, we got Zealots, a couple of Stonecutters, Frost Orbs, everyone's pushing, everyone's fighting. Marauder's like, wait a minute, what do I do? Oh, top right tower down. Marauder's trying to do some damage. He's got Skulls, he's got Snipers, he's got Bros, they got Stone Forms. It's a little chaotic, but they can get that, right? Just a couple of whacks, boom. Looks like we going into overtime, baby. Stonecutter on the bottom, he's got Vamp behind him. Marauder comes down, he's like, wait a minute. Uh, stone form, there it is. You got damagers, you got stone form, you got them doing damage. Man, gremlin throwing it down. Three quarters of the tower. Three units dropped in a leader ability. It's incredible. Uh, another stone cutter coming in from both sides. Uh, I don't know, I think Bass is going to get this. Oh, a little late on the stone form there. It could have been the wind. But he'll get another chance because that stone form pops up all the time. Uh, Vamp gets stopped by a Marauder. Bros are going to clean him up. Skulls and Zealots are doing nothing on the bottom. Uh, Zealots up top get a few shots in. Bombi, he's doing work. Uh, oh, and there that is. Little cutter on the bottom. Little hammer action. Little invulnerability stays alive barely. And oh, gets it. Yeah. I, uh, you know, you can see the result beforehand, but there was no moment during that match where I didn't feel like Bass was not going to take it. There were so many negatives in that sentence. Bass looked like he was going to win because of that stone form leader. He was playing it well. He was building nice pushes with it. Guys were about to die. Oh, he drops that on top. Takes your opponent by surprise. It's super sweet. All right, folks. Well... I'll have more videos coming out more regularly now that I'm uh, back in action. Happily married, though, so yay. Uh, yeah, keep climbing. Keep building those uh, tome ranks for your guilds. Maybe one day I'll actually be a proper contributor and do that for a guild. Some lucky guild. It's going to be it for now. Like the video. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel because there will be more and more frequently soon. And uh, leave a comment. Still waiting for the inaugural comments. Just say something. Say hello. You might like it. All right. Bye bye.